All right, so I was out working outside and I found this praying mantis egg thing. I'm not sure what to call it. And I'm gonna see if I can hatch it. this old cage I'm gonna pile the dirt up in the back like that and then I'm gonna take my praying mantis egg stick it back how it was laying when I found it kind of like that There we go. So we got some leaves and sticks and stuff to stick in there too. It was from the same area that I found it in. So I'm gonna take some of these sticks like this. have all the foliage stuff and sticks and everything in here. I might rearrange it from this. I think, actually, I think I might want to take this stick and turn it around this way, like that. And I think that looks pretty good. You can see the praying mantis egg right down there. And hopefully it hatches. I'll give you updates when it does. I actually rearranged it so the praying mantis egg, the stick that it's on is connected to that stick and that stick. So it's kind of balanced in the air because when we found it, it wasn't sitting on the ground. And so I want it to be just like as we found it. And this is the closest I could get. All right, I'm not gonna lie. I've had this thing for like a month now. And yesterday I was about to get rid of it. And then today, cause yesterday I was cleaning out my room. But then today I saw these little fellers. I'm gonna open it up so you can see them better. But, cause you can't really see them. It won't, my camera won't focus on them. Still not focusing on them, but. These are little praying mantises. <laughs> Why won't my camera focus? They came out of their egg right there. And they're everywhere. There's some crawling on the ground down there. Can't see those either. I got an idea. Climbing all over the place. There's one on his little egg thing. They're like everywhere in here. That's so cool. I'm gonna have to do some research, see what they eat, and then I'm gonna be back with you and give them some food, and then we're gonna eventually turn them back loose in the wild. See how long we've sat here because all the plants are dead. Check this out. I just realized there's a bunch on the top. There's 
so many of them. They're everywhere. From what I read, praying mantis don't need water. They don't drink out of water bowls. Instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mist down their cage and I'm gonna be careful because it says they can easily drown in anything like that's they can drown in a water droplet because they're so little. Look at them running through here. So I'm gonna try and mist a little bit. And I'm gonna try not to hit any of them. So I'm just gonna mist down here. I just cleaned out this spray bottle, so that's why it's. Just like a little light green. should be good for them. Actually, I might spray down the side because I know that's where they're not at. And there we go. And we said to make sure it's well ventilated so that droplets don't form. They're everywhere. Hang on, I gotta open this back up and show you guys. And from everything that I've read, you're supposed to keep them in captivity until they are about, or until they develop wings, and then you can release them so that they're strong enough and able to survive. Or if they're not doing good in captivity, then you release them. All right, so I got this ground beef that I'm gonna give the little praying mantises and just so they can eat because everything that I've researched, I gotta make sure none fall off this glass. There's none on it. Okay. And everything I've researched says that um, if you can't have fruit flies for them, then you should stick some ground beef in there. So I'm just gonna try and stick it like right there. That's probably enough for them for a little bit. I'm not keeping them crazy long. I'll end up letting go of them. Or letting them go into the wild back where I got them from. So now they got some ground beef looks so weird. <laughs> Hopefully they're hungry and eat it. And if you want to hold one, you're not supposed to pick it up. You're supposed to let them crawl onto your hand. Here, here's one right here. See if it'll crawl into my hand. There it goes. I'm gonna name him Fred. So everybody say hi to Fred. Today is Fred's birthday. I think that's probably gonna end up being my thumbnail. Right there. And then if you want them to come off, you just stick them up beside something that you want them to come off onto. Oh, Fred here. He's being a little Fredish. I don't know what to give him a call onto here. How about I go like that? That's not gonna work either. Here, here he goes. He'll crawl up onto the glass. It's crazy how they can hold on to the glass. I can make sure I don't have any others on my hand. They're pretty cool looking. I gotta cut that thing off. Good gosh, my camera's not focusing. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video. 
if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe because according to that thing right there only 60 percent of i mean only 30 percent of you 36 whatever it is percent of you are subscribed and the other 60 whatever percent <laughs> aren't subscribed so i need you guys to subscribe right now so we can grow this channel and I'll see you next time on Yow's Hop and Hilltop Farm.